<laughs> Rides like this take me back to my childhood. <laughs> hey travelers, time for a fat tested walkthrough of Wild Adventures Theme Park here in Valdosta, Georgia. Time to fat test the out. What is this thing called? <laughs> time to fat test the Outpost Express here at Wild Adventures. I don't know any of these rides yet. I just got here. Looks like it's a little family coaster. 36 inches to ride with an adult. It's 2 o'clock on a Friday before spring break and there's no lines. So I do think you're going to have a good time coming here if you don't want to deal with lines. Here we are. It's a little shoe. Okay. We're definitely starting with an interesting first impression. <laughs> the coaster went too far forward. Alright, they got it taken care of pretty fast. Okay, we're going to give up on that one for now. I'll come back to it. Uh, it seems to be having some problems. So, we'll come back and see if it's up and running later. Marsh Mayhem, which is a uh, crazy mouse ride, is down right now. So, we will come back and see if it's open later. Discovery Outpost, Alligator Alley. So this is where they've got a bunch of little kids rides. Let's see how they are. We have a little tight train here. I like this part of it. Okafinoki Friends. Looks like a little spinning ride. Nobody running it right now. Hopping Gator and Swamp Water Snake, which is a kids coaster. Flying Gators, which is not operational right now, but it's a little spinning ride. There's no restraints in there, so you should be good in that one. Time to fat test Turtle Twist here at Wild Adventure, which is a uh, Tilt-A-Whirl. Okay, I'm going to choose this one because it's already kind of down and these things can turn even when stopped. Let me lift this up. These are gravity bars. That means they do not lock in place. You see, it just goes wherever it goes. So because of that, you should have absolutely no problem fitting in this ride. Uh, you can probably fit at least two people in here, maybe. And it fits up to four, um, you know, of kids and all. So um, but it depends on how big you are. But really, two big people could probably fit in this. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Rides like this take me back to my childhood. <laughs> now we've stopped where the car is probably going to spin when I turn. Turtle Twist passes the fat test. Now we're going to head down Alfalfa Trail. Oh my gosh, look at the turtle! Excuse me, tortoise. I did not mean to call you a turtle. Look at you! That's another gator. We, he's called Mr. Twister. He's a big one. Alligators take motherhood extremely seriously. They're one of the only reptiles on the planet documented willing to die to protect their babies. You can actually get like quite a bit of feedings for $29.99. That's nice. We're just going to do this one for $2. So we get this little bit of seed here. Want some? There we go. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal him. There you go. That was fun. That was really cute. Uh, the birds weren't as hungry, and there's a lot of people feeding them. So I think coming like first thing in the morning, you'll probably have a lot more. You'll get like swarmed by the birds a lot more. But it was cute. It was fun. There's a sloth. His name is Oscar. That's the first time I've ever seen a sloth in person. Fat testing swamp thing here at Wild Adventures. Between 48 and 78 inches to ride. Looks like it's a short inverted style family coaster. All right. That's the seat. You have to be able to jump up in there. Unfortunately, couldn't really get into the seat on that one. Uh, it's a little off the ground. I don't really get off the ground well. So, unfortunately for me, that one fails the fat test. Fat testing swamp buggy bumper battle. 
the bumper cars here at Wild Adventures. Here it is. Uh, you are way down on the ground. This one is overhead. Okay. It's another one that doesn't really lock into place. I think it just goes down however far it can. We are good to go. <laughs> ah, go! Ah! Ah! That was fun. And the bumper cars passes the fat test. So I was going to try to get some free water, but uh, water is down in the park, which means the bathrooms are down in the park. Well, if you happen to enjoy this insanity, by the way, I got some ice because they're out of, can't get water. Um, please uh, consider becoming a Patreon and sharing this video. The vi links are down below. Fat testing tailspin here at Wild Adventures. I'm gonna put you guys in the cubby. All right, you should be able to hear me because of my mic. And hopefully you can see me in this position. So we'll see. It comes up behind you. It comes up behind you and then locks in place. I wore I, I rode one similar to this since six in six flags last summer, but I uh, did gain weight since then because okay, it's up. I don't know if it's locked. It's up to you. You want to push it? I mean, you're, you're good pushing it if you want. We're good? That's what I figured. All right. I thought it was loose. I am in here now. Here we go. Bye. Whoa! Ho -ho! Woo! Ho -ho! Woo! Woo! Ha ha ha! Woo! Ha <laughs> you know, this one actually isn't that bad. Hey! I am holding on to your life. <laughs> that was fun. Hey. We did it. That was fun. They have Wacky Wheels, which is a little teacup ride. Fat test and swinging safari here at Wild Adventures. All right, here it is.
All right, we're good to go. I'm a little nervous about this one. So we're gonna turn like almost completely sideways by the time this really gets going. Here we go. Oh boy. I'm picking up speed. <laughs> oh, we're going backwards. I was like, is that it? Oh, I don't want to go backwards. I don't like going backwards. I like going forwards. Forwards look better. That actually wasn't that bad. I thought it would go a lot faster. Getting out in and out is a little difficult because the vehicle does swing at all times, but uh, swinging safari passes the fat test. They have a petting zoo, but you don't actually go in. You just stick your hand through and feed them. Let's fat test the century wheel here at Wild Adventures. This is the Ferris wheel. So you're not allowed to ride the Ferris wheel by yourself. Uh, some teenagers were kind enough to let me join them. One other thing I've noticed, they don't really have test seats out for any of the roller coasters. Don't know what that's about. That's interesting. Time to fat test Tasmanian River Rapids here at Wild Adventures. Tasmanian River Tours. Looks like it just keeps moving as you get on. So they have two different extension belts. One that's a little bit shorter, one that's a little bit longer or quite a bit longer and she's going to grab one of those for me. So just ask the staff member. I do appreciate that they have the little cubicles so you don't have to rent lockers necessarily for your stuff. So this one almost fits without the extension. That's easy enough. The little ex I didn't need the long extension belt. You just put it right there. I think tall people are gonna have a little bit more problem in this because there's not a lot of leg room. Are we going in the tornado? I can't see. I have no idea what's coming. We're about to go into the tornado hole. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I have I do this a lot and I've never seen one like this. It's okay, buddy. I know we'll be fine. I know we're not gonna Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! oh! Right in the ear. <laughs> oh! So the little step in is tough. I don't know why they didn't just open this up right here. Hopefully everything's still working well. But no, that was a lot of fun. It was uh, a short, uh, short one, but that was an, a mechanic I've never really seen. It was really cute. So Tasmanian River Rapids passes the fat test. Time to fat test Boomerang here at Wild Adventures. There does not look like there's a lot of room in there. Will we pass? That keeps up Okay. So, uh, yeah, I fit. 
and I just rode. That was the... Uh, so I was not expecting that, but yeah, I fit on Boomerang. There's a similar ride, almost the exact same at uh, Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, and I don't fit, and I was like 20 pounds lighter when I tried that one. By the way, if you don't know, this is Fat Tested Travel. I'm Jason, and I am currently 370 pounds with a 52 inch waist, and I'm five foot eight inches tall. I'm still in shock that I actually fit on that. I wish I could have filmed, but obviously it's a pretty intense roller coaster and I'm just using my phone. So, wow. <laughs> Way to go, Wild Adventures. You know, there's been some problems today, for sure, but that one, good job. Oh wow, the tiger gets really close, and you are active today, buddy. How are you? Yeah, yes. Sit down pretty far, but I'm in here and there's no restraints. Let me try. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. Capybaras, that's what those things are called. They also have a wheelchair one here, by the way. Exit through the gift store. If you happen to be a fuel rod user, they do have fuel rods. It's only a dollar to swap here. So it's not free like Disney World, but it's one of the cheaper places to swap. The lions are just hanging out back there. Time to fat test whirling wildcats here at Wild Adventures, which is a, uh, what's it called? A scrambler type ride. All right. It's a big step up. This one has a seat belt. It's a big lap. <sighs> belt works fine. I got plenty of room. You could fit another person in here probably, but this, is right up here. I don't think it has to go down all the way. Go back. <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Woo! <laughs> that was fast. It was short. I should let it ride longer. There ain't nobody in line hardly. I could just get back in line too. But it passes the fat test. Time to fat test Pharaoh's Fury here at Wild Adventures. Ow. I shocked myself. Oh, it does not come down yet. Hopefully that's now far enough. Please put your hands up for airlock. Had to push it down a little bit more. So that's the tip we it wouldn't fit here, but we had to put it under the belly. Now it fits. Now we're good. So I thought it was good, but unfortunately it was just my stomach holding it down. It was not locked into place. So uh, the ride wouldn't start until unless it locked. I couldn't get it down far enough. It was like, get close. So unfortunately it fails the fat test. This is their new exhibit, Dinosaur Explore, the Amargasaurus. So some of them are animatronic, some of them are not. Oh, maybe they all are. They just only move a little bit every now and then. An iguanodon, you made it! Seriously? Apparently they have a dino meet and greet at select times. A baby dino or a T-Rex. There's a dino dig. I thought these things were smaller for some reason. Maybe that's just Jurassic Park. Spinosaurus. Okay, that one's actually pretty cool. I think his eyelid is broken. These are pretty cool. I mean, definitely where they're moving in some of the parts where they've tried to replace the skin. It just honestly just looks really bad, but outside of those places, like outside of places like that, it's pretty cool. I'm sure kids love it. I like the Ankylo Ankylosaurus. I don't think these were milk built to last. This is the first day.
The face looks amazing though. The Terrasaur. Here's some of the merch they have for it. And this is what the, the dig site looks like. Time to fat test Twisted Typhoon here at Wild Adventures. There was nobody here. Okay. We'll see if this works. Please remove your hat. I was able to get it down and I was able to get in the seat much more easier than the other one. But unfortunately, I was not able to get the uh, um, lock belt to lock in. And they even tried to help, it was too far off. So I appreciate their help, but this one fails the fat test. Sandstorm chaser. Fat testing sandstorm chaser. Okay, I got the seat belt on. Now we just gotta hope that will come down. Larger person sit on the outside seat. That's not going all the way down. I don't know if it has to or not. Is it gonna have to go all the way down? I don't think it's gonna make it. I thought we were gonna be good with that one, but unfortunately the bar with the long black part just did not want to come down. So. It fails the fat test. You know what? I got 10 minutes left before the park closes. Instead of instead of going to find another ride, I'm gonna hang out here on these swings for a second. If you're a local or like in the Tallahassee area, I think this is a good theme park to come to. I think it's a really good, it's a good deal. Um, it's, you know, you can get a season pass for $120. And uh, I think that's pretty good. Um, I think it's much more affordable than Disney or Universal for families. Um, good night. Gnats are crazy. I need to wear bug spray. But overall, I think I'll give the park, mm, I think I'll give it a C plus for the fat test. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. It's not going to be a Disney kind of park. Um, but, and the theme, the, the, the rides are not themed, but there are good rides. But get out there and try stuff. Enjoy life. Try it. You may, not, you may like it. You may not like it. But that's the important thing is to go try it. And that's why I do this. That's why I encourage you to go out and uh, travel as well, whatever your size may be. So thanks for watching and make sure to catch the rest of my videos and check out the links down below. Thanks for visiting. That was a nice little trail.